How's it going? David Kelly here. Um, or as my kids call me, La Mana Banana. Because of, uh, well, I don't eat just bananas, but I eat a fair bit. So, La Mana Banana, the Banana Man. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's the big day. I am doing my run out to Niagara on the lake. The route that I'm taking along the lake shore and North Service Road um, is going to be about 100, 135 kilometers. Uh, if I get tired too quickly, I'll do a combination of running and walking. I, I would like to r run most of it. It's, it's planned out to be over a period of three days. Um, so it's about a marathon a day. And I am going to be fueling, fueling myself, <laughs> fueling myself, fueling, fuel, fueling myself with um, fruits, mostly, and some vegetables. And that's the way I've been eating for almost a month now. And so how's it been, eating like that for almost a month, having no overt fats like nuts and seeds and avocados um, or durian fruit? Although I have a durian fruit in the freezer for when I get back um, to treat myself with. But uh, it's been great. I have, I mean, there's been moments where I have craved unusual kinds of foods that, you know, I normally wouldn't crave. And there's been times when I just wanted to throw in the towel and eat something different. But for the most part, it's been pretty smooth. And the experience has been very positive. I, I, my energy level is quite high. And it's unlike the energy that you would get from, or stimulation that you would get from drinking a coffee or something caffeinated, it's a steady energy. It's not um, something that brings you up really high and you've got to be active and then you come crashing down. This is just a steady energy, gets you through the day into the evening, and anytime you want to sit down and relax, you can sit down and relax. You're not all pepped up on something. And that's nice, that's, you know, what I want. I want to be awake, I want to be alive, but when I want to be able to be calm, I can also do that as well. And um, digestion has been really efficient. I basically have two really good bowel movements a day, sometimes three, and uh, they don't smell. So that's <laughs> really pleasant. But anyways, enough of that. Um, so here's, the backpack I'm going to be bringing with me on the trip. I'll have two water bottles and I'll have some basic uh, provisions packed in the, the bag, keeping it as light as possible. I'll be staying, hopefully I'll be able to stay at motels along the way if there's vacancies. And uh, I'll be packing some dates in here as well to, to get uh, a boost of energy whenever I need it. And I should be able, there should be plenty of you know, grocery stores and fruit markets along the way that I'll be able to stop at and, you know, refuel myself and uh, carry on. Hopefully things will be smoothly. It's going to be hot and humid out, so I'll bring a little bit of uh, sea salt with me, hum Himalayan sea salt, and, uh, um, you know, to just in case I need a little bit of a, a little bit of salt if I'm depleted on sodium. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, you know, I've never done a, a, a journey like this before, so, um, you know, I, yeah, I have my fears, but I'm more excited than I am afraid. And uh, so I'll be leaving tomorrow morning at around 6 in the morning. I will be documenting my journey, uh, doing a video every day at least, and um, when I get back I will post those videos, so probably by Next Sunday, I will have them all posted. So, um, I'm excited to do this. And, um, oh, what else? Yeah, when I'm finished, when I get to finally Niagara on the lake, I'm going to uh, meet up with my wife and I'm going to have a cooked dinner. And, yes, that's right, 
Sorry for, your, for the purist out there, but I am going to enjoy a cooked dinner with my wife at a nice restaurant. It will be vegan. You know, there's, I think there's three kinds of freedom. There's the freedom to be able to say no, and that is when you go to a party or a social gathering and there's drinks and you don't drink and you're able to say no, or there's certain kinds of foods that you can't eat and you're able to say no to that, that's a freedom. The second kind of freedom is to be able to say no and not regret saying no, where you think, oh, I really, really want that, but I've got to say no. If you get to that place where you can say no and you're comfortable with that, you're at peace with that, you don't feel like you're missing out on anything, that's another level of freedom. The third level of freedom, though, is even greater. It's being able to say yes. And for me, it's being able to say yes to a cooked meal with my wife after I've done this journey. And then afterwards, I will resume the way I like to eat. I won't feel any guilt about eating a cooked meal. I won't, have, I won't be sick the next day. I won't have any remorse. It's just I'm going to enjoy some time with my wife. And that's it. So, um, and then, yeah, that is freedom, you know, to be able to, to say no, no, and yes. And then have the freedom to go back to the way you, what you believe in. So, um, yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching me. I really appreciate it. And uh, see you perhaps on Sunday. Bye.